Chris Paul added 14 assists and zero turnovers, the fourth time he's done that in the playoffs, and he's at the podium now. Mentality, but you guys finally get healthy um, going into the playoffs and have Devin with the hamstring tightness. Just maybe speak to the frustration of that. Uh, it is what it is, part of the game. You know what I mean? We uh, got guys that's more than capable of stepping up. You know, Book was killing. He was having a big-time game, but, you know, it is what it is. Will you feel like maybe either was working more in their favor or wasn't working in you guys' favor in that fourth quarter? Um, man, we was letting them get into the bonus too quick. Um, rebounding again tonight, you know what I mean? They had a lot of, you know, tough shots towards the end of the game. You know, CJ3, uh, Alvarado um, hit a couple threes in the corner, and we just couldn't get stops. Coach was, was saying that basically, like, you know, you guys got to understand that how they play. And I know you, you know Willie so well, you knew that going in. But that, that, is that finally sunk in? You maybe feel like with the rest of the guys after a game like tonight? Um, we know. You know what I mean? We got to be better, especially me, uh, defensively. You know, um, they, uh, they pushed it on us. You know, they got into the bonus early, especially in that third quarter. Excuse me. And I think sometimes that takes away a little bit of our aggressiveness. I think we got a lot of good looks tonight that normally go down. It just didn't go down tonight. Chris, something Monty mentioned, were those leak outs being an issue? He was saying that's just one of those basketball one-on-one -on -one situations in terms of getting back. Do you, do you share that sentiment? Absolutely. You know, we, we got to get back. Uh, Jackson Hayes had a couple plays sort of like back-to-back -back where he contested and took off. And, uh, you know, that's on me as the point guard to get back. With Brandon Ingram's shooting night, Monty was saying, you know, the key with a guy like that, you just got a challenge because he is going to hit some tough shots. Did you feel like you guys did a good job of that or and it was just one of those nights? Yeah, our, our defense was kind of spotty tonight. You know, it's almost like we hope they missed tonight instead of making them miss. So we'll go back to the film, look and see what we can do better and, and be ready for game three. Chris, what do you think about Landry coming in after not playing in game one and what he did in game two? That's big time, man. That's just guys staying ready, being ready. And we're going to need guys uh, game three. We're going to need everybody throughout, you know, this, this this deep playoff run that we hope that we have. You know what I mean? So it's been a season like that for us. Next man up, uh, guys stay ready, and, and, and Sham was ready. Uh, looked like they were getting a lot of open threes on the backside after, you know, on the on the drive into the paint. Was that guy's over helping to go after the rebounds because of the game, what happened in game? I got to look at it and see, you know what I mean? Uh, they, they were putting us in rotations, you know, but I, that goes back to us being better defensively. You know, we got to look at the tape, see, see how we can be more connected and uh, not give guys so many wide open looks like that. Kamani said there was a lack of intensity. You guys didn't get back on the transition. How does that happen in a game like this? Yeah, it shouldn't. It shouldn't, and uh, uh, fortunately, we can't go back and do nothing about it now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's 1-1 one, one going to New Orleans for game three. So, uh, you know, we get ready. So what are the adjustments you have to make going into game three? Not the coach. <laughs> you know what I mean? And everything just happened. So we'll, uh, we'll look at the film, probably meet tomorrow, uh, figure out when we're traveling, and then go from there. It looked like they were putting a lot of length on you with Herb Jones and then Jackson Hayes switching on to you in the third quarter. Did, uh, is that Willie Green's, uh, you know, thinking about how, how the best to defend you? On Not at all. Time? 17 years we've been doing that. <laughs> when you look at Aiden just getting six shots, is that just the way they were defending or is that does he need to be more? Um, I never look and know how many shots anybody got, man. I ain't know Ingram had 37 until I just looked at it. You, you try to win when you're out there, man. And um, we got to find a way to get any more touches. That's me looking at it now. But one thing we never do during the game is say here, don't, you know what I mean? So that's, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how to be better. Chris, um, when that timeout happened, uh, when Debo came out, like just wondering, like, your. First reaction of like what he told you, like, hey, I'm, I'm done, or like, hey, I, I need to take a break or something. Like, what he tell you? Uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, just, just play. We'll finish with one on Zoom from Jason Quick.
Chris, I think one of the cool things about sports is kind of the, the mental aspect of it, and especially when you're hit with adversity. Uh, kind of what's important at, at this time for, uh, for you? What have you found works at this kind of moment, and what kind of message will you have for the team? Uh, the most important thing for us right now is game three. That's it. <clears throat> and I think that's that's the thing. Um, adversity, I mean, we, we've all faced it um, at some point. And so this is, like we say, next man up. We'll figure it out. Um, and game three is the most important thing right now. Yep. Now tied at a game apiece, here's Coach of the Year candidate Monty Williams. Right hamstring tightness. Mm -hmm. did, did you notice it during that third quarter, him maybe even slowing down? Did he even come to you? No, I think it happened on one play um, when he was trying to track down someone in transition. And um, that, that's where I think it happened. Um, but other than that, we don't have much else to say about it. But it, it is a hamstring issue. What just, I mean, not just in the quick short term of just thinking about the fourth quarter without him, mm -hmm. what changed you felt like? The transition defense. That, that was probably um, for us the worst we've ever looked in transition since I've been here and for that to happen in a playoff game was a bit unsettling for everybody but um, our guys have to understand that this team is going to play hard every possession and we saw it in the third quarter they just we missed a shot they were taken off and uh, that was a bit deflating um, but that was the change in my eyes and then they got hot from three um, but the transition Defensive balance wasn't there um, at any level tonight for us. And then you, get, you talked about Landry being ready. Mm -hmm. What do you think about how he played? I thought he was. Out? I thought he was really good um, to be able to come in and attack the basket that way, and then knock down a three out of a timeout. Um, and he's a guy that's going to stay ready. I mean, we've we've been in this situation before where Book or Chris have been out. Now we got to make that adjustment. Um, but it, it's going to start with playing with a great level of intensity in every area. I thought we handled the offensive rebounding a lot better tonight, but then we took a step back and transition. And so we just got to put it together. Monty, on those leak outs, is that just a lack of attentiveness once the guy leaks out? It's an understanding of what they're doing. You know, they're, they're contesting and taking off, but the backside of our <clears throat> offense has to get back. You know, it's just basketball 101. That's not anything I'm coming up with. Everybody has to do that. What did you think of the offensive execution tonight? Uh, it was it was okay. We just didn't shoot the ball as well as they did. I mean, they shot 54 from three. We we had 13 threes. We just shot you know a much lower percentage. When you compare it, um, they just shot a lot better than we did. Um, there were some you know breakdowns on both ends, but they had you know one guy who was able to knock down tough shots at the end of the clock, and and we just missed a ton of shots tonight. You had mentioned the point of attack defense in game one tonight. Was that kind of the underlying cause behind the Pelicans three point shooting? I game? just thought it was a lapse in KYP. There were a number of times where we just didn't even get a hand up on a guy um, or we went under a screen on McCullum um, down the stretch and he gets a three. Uh, Alvarado had a couple where we just didn't respect him enough to get our hands up. And um, our guys will be better. We'll watch the film and and see how many open looks we gave them just with a lack of intensity to get to their feet and force them to put the ball down, especially at the end of the shot clock. With Brandon Ingram, you know, he's a guy that you've talked about, how he yeah. can hit tough shots. Do you feel like that was kind of the case, that it was just one of those nights? No, I think it was one of those nights, but he also hit tough shots with a hand in his face. I mean, some of those shots, I, I'll take that defense every night. He just hit those shots. There was one in a baseline out of bounds play where he comes off and, and we just didn't recognize that he was going to come off to take the shot. We were too far behind him. But other than that, I thought we got a, a good hand up in, on most of his shots. Monty, why do you think, uh, back here, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think was the difference for Hayes being able to be a little more impactful tonight for them versus just game one, he was a little quieter? He was athletic. He's always athletic in, in a number of environments, but tonight he was taken off and running and they put a lot of pressure on us and they were switching so he would end up on a, a smaller guy and he would contest and take out take off I thought that hurt us um, 
but his athleticism, uh, he's able to switch and guard guys and force tough shots. Um, but I thought his transition, um, his effectiveness in transition hurt us tonight. Do you have any theory on why something like this would happen in a game like this? No. I mean, a, a theory, I, I don't know.